Hello, I'm James. I'm a product manager at Mendeley. I want to sh demonstrate to you the new drag and drop feature that we have for web library. So here is Mendeley web library, uh, www.mendeley.com slash library. And I have references on the right side and some PDFs. And let's just show you what happens if I drop a RAS file with references inside. And you see on the left side, it's importing. And there it is, there is my references. So what happens if I want to attach a PDF file to this reference? I click on the reference and I drag it here. And there it is. So you notice that the PDF that normally comes in serial numbers um, gets renamed to the actual title of the title of the reference. Um, if, if you happen to be a RefWorks user, the original RefWorks, it always exports out as in the reference library uh, as a txt file and if I were to drag and drop into web library it just treats it as a txt file it doesn't know that it's a reference library file so what you can do is you go to add you click on rs because it's a reference file click on txt it's actually in the reference library format and there it is. So this is my study on burritos, and there's my set of references about burritos. Okay, let's get rid of that. And I want to show you what happens if you want to cancel a import process. So here's a huge XML reference library file that has about 200 references. So nothing's happening so far that's because it's taking time to parse all that reference out so it's 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 preparing and then it's it's putting one reference in the library at a time and that's why it's taking a while so it's about more than 25 percent of the way and i want to cancel this so I click on cancel and it says import process has been canceled the imported documents will be removed. It says will be because it's still in the process of removing it. So as it takes time to add one at a time, it also takes time to remove one at a time. If I'm quickly, if I'm quick enough, if I go to all documents, I could still see the references. So if I refresh again, you see this 50, 79. If I refresh again, they're gone. This is actually a small bug. It, for some reason, it leaves behind two references all the time. Um, we'll, we'll get to resolve that hopefully in the near future. And let's see, what else I haven't demoed yet. So here it is, BibTech. I'm going to drag it, and there it is. See, it works. Ah, I do have a shortcoming when it comes to subfolders. So let's just get rid of these. So I'm in a subfolder, and I want to put these in the subfolder. So it goes, and nothing happens. Um, what happens is it always goes to the main home folder, which is all documents. And if you want to put it in the subfolder, you got to do it internally here. So what I've done is I just dragged all. See, if I go to a different folder, it doesn't have that. So I just dragged from here to here to here. But for PDFs, it actually knows that you're in a subfolder. That's because it's a simple one file. So I'm going to click here. There it is. It actually also takes off parses the title as well as the author. So it's here. There it is. It's here. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave in the comments below. Um, see you in the next video.